Queues help distribute calls optimally to the agents. When agents become available, queued calls are directed based on configured call routing settings. As business needs change, administrators can modify a queue and its settings in Control Hub. In this video, we'll review how to adjust some of the most common queue features. First, let's take a look at how simple it is to manage agents. From Control Hub, go to Services and select Customer Experience. Click Agents. Here's where you can view a consolidated view of all agents across your queues. The dashboard displays the agent's information and their queue participation so that you can make appropriate staffing decisions and easily change the join status if needed. Use the search field to search for an agent name or primary number, or use these filters to sort the list based on queues, queue locations, and join unjoined status. To add or remove an agent from the queue, go to queues at the top of the customer experience page. Select a queue to edit from the list. Beside Agents, click Manage. From the drop-down list, search or select the users to add to a queue. Please note, if added users don't already have the customer experience license, you'll be prompted to assign the license. To remove an agent, click the trash icon. Agents in a queue can be associated with a supervisor who can silently monitor, coach, barge in, or take over calls that their assigned agents are currently handling. To manage supervisors, click Supervisors at the top of the Customer Experience page. Here you can view, add, and remove supervisors. You can also easily add or remove agents assigned to supervisors. Now that you've seen where and how to manage agents and supervisors, let's look at some of the queue settings. When you first set up your queue, you determine the call routing strategy, which is how the agents are prioritized to receive a call. To modify the call routing settings, go to Queues at the top of the Customer Experience page. Select the queue to edit from the list. Beside Call Routing, click the Call Routing Pattern Assigned. First, choose Priority or Skill-Based Routing, and then choose the pattern. If you choose Skill-Based Routing, by default, routing happens based on the skill level. If there's more than one agent in the same skill level, calls follow the selected routing pattern – Circular, Top-Down, or Longest Idle make your edits, and click Save. Next, let's look at how to allow callers to receive a callback to a phone number they provide. This is called the Callback Service. In the side panel of the queue you'd like to edit, click Callback. Select the toggle to enable. Enter minimum estimated time for callback option in minutes. This determines at what estimated wait time the caller receives the callback option. Check the Allow International Callback Number Prompt checkbox if applicable. This allows international users wanting a callback to enter their country code. The callback numbers validate against a location's policy on outgoing calls. Click Save to save your changes. Finally, let's look at how to modify your queue policies to quickly handle any changes or emergency situations. Select the queue to edit from the list. Under Queue Policies, you can configure how to route calls during holiday and after-hour periods, temporarily divert new incoming calls, and manage the calls in queue when the agents are unavailable. Select Holiday Service to configure the queues to route calls differently during the holidays. Select Night Service to configure the queue to route calls differently during the hours when the queue isn't in service. This is determined by a schedule that defines the business hours of the queue. Select Forced Forwarding to allow the queue to be put in an emergency mode to forward calls to a different location during the emergency. Configure the queue to temporarily divert new incoming calls to a different route, independent of the night service and holiday service route. A stranded call is processed by a queue that has no agents currently staffed. Select Stranded Calls to configure the queue routing policy for calls stranded in the queue when all the agents are signed out. For each of these policies, you can customize a variety of settings to make sure your callers are informed and routed properly. These are just some of the settings you can modify as an administrator. In the side panel of each queue, you can see all of the settings available to adjust when needed. Use the help documentation to learn more.